What's up YouTube? It's Carolina Calvin coming back to you with another video. In this video I want to talk about the stupid idiotic move that the Carolina Panthers just pulled today nearing the trade deadline. If you don't know what I'm talking about, if you can't already see in the thumbnail or you know you don't get on social media, the Carolina Panthers trade Kelvin Benjamin, their number one receiving target, to the Buffalo Bills for a third and seventh round 2018 pick. Yes, seventh round. Seventh round. They couldn't get anything better than a seventh round pick. Yeah, you get the third, but seventh round for your number number one receiving target? You already have trouble trouble scoring points. You're in the bottom half of the league in terms of points per game. Even lower. I believe they're in the bottom 10. So, you trade away Cam Newton's number one option for picks. Your team is, the team is five and three. You're winning. You're not losing. But before I go any further, let me tell you how... Uh, I'm going to give you a quote that, uh, of course, the current GM who uh, they pretty much asked him about the trade. And that's Marty Herney. You know, we, we, we go from Gettleman, one idiot, to another. Yay. But this is what he says. Oh, the Panthers were willing to part with Kelvin Benjamin so they can remove redundancy eliminate redundancy on the field that's essentially the gist of what he said to eliminate redundancy on the field because oh you got six five kelvin benjamin you got six four devin funches well get rid of devin funches are you kidding me are you kidding me you keep you trade kelvin benjamin and you keep devin funches as your number one receiving target he's made some plays this year but number one receiving target So, just you wait to see that offense next coming in next week. Oh, it was so they could um, get Russell Shepard, Curtis Samuel, Callan Clay in the game. You can get those guys in the game with Kelvin Benjamin there. I know exactly what this is. They'll give you the run around all this horse shit. Oh, uh, you know, to remove redundancy or, you know. To shake things up in the roster. Let me tell you what it, what it really is. Outside of being complete idiots. And you know, Jerry Richardson. Another idiot who, who doesn't want to spend money. And there it is. They didn't want to spend money. I believe he has an 8 point. Kelvin Benjamin next year has an 8.5 team option. They didn't want to pick that up. So they'd rather trade him. For players we, did, for players we didn't get yet. When the team is, team is winning now. Now if we would have been like. You know, two and two and six or something like that. I mean, it's still a stupid trade, but you get it. You, you know, you're, you're losing, whatever. But your team is five and three. He's your number one option. Your offense has already struggled, even despite him being there. So now you put in guys. Now you're gonna play guys who couldn't get the starting position over him, and expect the offense to play better. To remove redundancy. But man, how do these idiots be getting how do these idiots get jobs, man? And it's all because owner is cheap. The same thing happened with Josh Norman and the fact that they couldn't get his contract done. So they let him walk. That's what that's what it all comes down to. That's why this team never signs free agents. They never make trades for players that they need that they could probably get because they're cheap. They think they can go in there and win with bargain bin players while other teams are making making moves to get star caliber talent. They think they can win with young players who don't have a lot of NFL experience. So you don't have to pay them that much because they're on a rookie contract. A lot of these guys, Curtis Samuel, he's a rookie. Callan Clay, fuck is that? Russell Shepard, 
he's made some plays here and there, but you replacing him with Kevin, you you're replacing Kevin Benjamin with him? It's because they're cheap. People will tell you, "Oh, it's just a business." You know, this thing, things is happen, things like this happen. Your job as a front office. As an owner, is to put a winning team out there so fans can come fill the seats. You're not winning. Fans don't come. That's all that matters. How do you do that? You put together a good roster. And to do that, you got to spend money. And that's the problem this offense is in in the first place. And I hate it when when guys like Luke Keekley's contract. I, I don't even want to even bring it up. When guys like Luke Keekley's contract comes up. What what the fuck are they gonna do? They already don't want to play Greg. Pay, they don't want to pay Greg Olson, so I, I don't even want to know what's gonna happen there. It's ridiculous. This team, I like the team, but I I, I don't like the owners in the slightest. I don't like the coach. I don't like none of the coaches. D- defense defense coordinator is cool with me, but. These front office, the owner, majority of the coaching staff, I don't like none of them. Because this is the product they put out on the field. These are the moves they make. And expecting fans not to care. It's it's disrespectful. Because fans buy season tickets. And now they're not putting a quality squad on them. Yeah, they won. They're 5-3. and three. But you're trying to build on that. That's the point. You're trying to build. You don't subtract players who are on the team when you're winning and are a part of that, you know, that winning culture. You don't get rid of guys like that. So that meant that's all I want to say. This this team that's why they've been so inconsistent year in and year out with their record. It's because they don't they they don't resign guys. They don't bring in guys to improve in areas you need to improve on. Look at last year. Coming off a Super Bowl win, you saw the things you need to improve on. Offensive line, receiving core. Guess what? You don't do neither. You lose Josh Norman. Thanks. That's what this team has been doing. But anyways, I think I'm done. Let me know what you think down in the comment section about this stupid, dumb, moronic trade. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. I'm out.